Hello, uh, this is Adam Barnes uh, at Now Gamer, and uh, joining me is Tom Hopkins, news editor on Now Gamer. Hello there. We're going to show you uh, Portal 2 and the map creation. Uh, it's obviously in beta at the moment, although it's out next week, I believe. Yeah, 8th of May. Um, what's it? It's got a funny name now, hasn't it? Like all the DLC. Port, uh, Portal Testing, testing something. Initiative, or something, so, something like those lines. I don't know, something, something Testing Initiative. Anyway. anyway, this is the creator. This is what it looks like. It's isometric, so you can see everything like that. You can see me dragging things in with the mouse. It reminds me of some excellent old games. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, Grid-based. Yeah, isometric. Isometric, that's what they call it. <laughs> did, did I see you spin the uh, level round a minute? Yeah, it's all very simple. So you can see everything kind of proper yeah, 3D. Yeah, you can see the ceilings, see the floor, floors. See of everything. course, yeah, you need to see the ceilings. Yeah. You know, can't now. Well, because you might want to do your, your old shoot at the portal at the ceiling, old tricks. So that's how far I zoom in. So, oh you see that's so you can make a real, like a drop there. And it goes quite deep. You can't go any higher than the, the, the basic level, so that's as high as you can go. But you but can, you can go lower down it. if you're right, I see, right. Drop it quite So if you wanted far. to make a really high level, you'd have to sort of drop it down You'd have to lower then. everything. Because so, right. you start with that, that's the basic room you start with, so you'd have to move the, oh. the entrances. And what the um, what and tools that. are we seeing coming out here then? So here you get everything. You've got the gels at the bottom, you've got the, the buttons and the switches at the top, and all the various little pads and jump boosts and, and whatever basically any any kind of puzzle that you can think of that's been in portal 2 you've got here um, i'm just going to show off the uh so it's, the of, uh, it's all very simple away. yeah you just drag it's basically like playing uh, roller coast tycoon and <laughs> cutting the landscape away old, so i know it's an old <laughs> you just filled that with water basically all you do is, is plot that down wherever you put it that's that's the water level right oh, it's, I see, I it's see. quite amazing is that because water does actually level out in real life as well yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's basically that's. You can have sideways water or anything like that. Well, who knows? Maybe that's next DLC. Oh, so you can actually put a thing on the wall. Well, if you want to do it, it's literally as easy as selecting something, moving to the, to the left, and selecting there. I'm just dragging, and cutting you can things away. And yeah, no, I mean, it looks really, really easy to use. I mean, because Valve already has the hammer editor, I believe, for games like Portal, where people can make their own levels. But it's the classic sort of Unreal Engine looking controls and yeah. little menus but this looks so it's inviting so intuitive and anyone could pick this up and, and make a however simple a level they wanted to have just added a pane of glass for whatever reason there I mean, it almost looks more i know obviously there's less going on in a perhaps a, a port two level than a little big planet but it looks far simpler than it's little big planet. yeah it is much simpler i mean obviously the, the design is, is a comp as complex as you want it's still limited in, in some ways in that you can't kind of edit the dimensions. There's none of that kind of, you know, how they had the decay and of their things and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I've heard this, but I, I believe you will be able to create something and then export it to the hammer editor if you're a bit more technical and add ah. the kind of foliage and things that we saw in Portal 2 after the event, um, which, which is know. nice, but... But yeah. probably beyond the average person like myself, whereas this... It's nice to know it exists, anyway. I mean, it, it's just as simple as... as Put something down, click in it, and if it has a connection, you just right click it, connect to, connect to, and then. Uh, click and and so that was a. So you were connecting a button to what is that? A jump? That's that's. It's not a jump. It's a, one of the elevator things, piston. So it'll go up to whichever level that you. Whichever height you you choose. So you see how it's got the small arrow. It's the the bit the bottom bit is where it starts from. The top bit is where it goes to. I see. So the, oh, I see. So the so the kind of bit nearest us is showing the Ooh. other. The other state of that elevator. Yes. Right, yeah. I see. And right. basically, at its natural state, if you land on it, it'll move by itself. But you can obviously have that. And you can, and all these are chosen. All, the, all those options are chosen in terms of what it does. And yeah, yeah, you can, you, like I said, right click it. I've just added a window of a little person in it. Uh, that's, uh, that's actually at start, start, uh, the start of the map, they always add right. one. And so I, I show it a little bit later on in the video, it's actually a little bit confusing because you can't seem to connect any more windows to it. So that was an energy bridge you've just yes, put in there. Yeah, and I've connected that also to the button. So you have to press both. So you have to press the button that will activate both. To be fair, things. this isn't going to be a very good level. No, I, <laughs> I presume that you're, ju you're just messing around with it. Yeah, that's I'm just, so cool. Just pulling the ring dragging out it like away. It's, it's quite quite cool. So limitations then, um, size wise, 
you said the depth was sort of limited to roughly what 15 20 i would probably say about 20 blocks. 20 blocks i'm trying to think how Which big a kind of block is in real terms it's kind of half it's shells probably height, isn't it? yeah it's no no it's more than that more than i that. would say one one cube is probably about the height of the player uh, maybe a little bit more because you, you can't you can't jump a full square that's i figured right, this okay. out so i was trying to do a design i see right oh yeah you can tell the um the little door and yeah exactly, there is obviously yeah. the height of it, yeah. about the height of one grid so and so you can point to so what are you doing here there. this is oh they're turrets and that's their radius and that's their radius where you can you can drag it that, and right. you can be very precise about what angle they can see sure. you at um obviously I've, I, you see i've put the gels down there that's one of the speed and gels um so it is yeah changed it to portable for portal a bowl floor Por um, portable portable yeah it's quite cool when, when something's worked. wrong it pops up saying like this this is an issue this is an, and that was me trying to figure out how to do that those windows it doesn't seem to want to let me do so, it, so. is that just telling you you can't or because that's, 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 that's not valid so if, if sure but if, i'm if, guessing you if I'm, I'm sorry i'm guessing if you um created a level that didn't technically work that you couldn't get out of it's not going to know that necessarily uh, no no there are times when i was testing one of them where i've fell down the pit and had no way of getting out. <laughs> um, That's what they call poor level design. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, I'm not, a, I'm not a designer. So, yeah, uh, I quickly resolved that problem. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't tell you if it's if it's incompletable. So all these um, kind of energy gates and bridges and things, you you can choose whether or not to activ have activated by button or have them already yeah, activated. their natural state is to be activated. Sure, right, okay. Um, that I'm putting a companion cube. So I can't have a level without companion cube. Uh, no, absolutely not. Um, so it just, I mean, at this stage now, it's only now really that it, it sort of is obvious how much of a sort of sandbox the portal, you know, portal world is because we always knew the test chambers were kind of little, you know, puzzles in themselves and great little environments. But I mean, what you're, what you're doing here is just showing how almost endless the combinations well, are. Well, so you just have fun just piecing bits together, and if you think of a think of a level, you'll you'll uh, want to do it. So tell us about that line now. Is that a jump? Is that a jump pad? The white dashed white line. Is That's, that a jump pad? Uh, kind of ratio. Is that like showing you the journey you'll take? If yes, basically, all you have to do is set up a jump pad. You don't have to customize the power or the strength or any of that. You might have to do in a normal level editors. You literally plunk it down, click where you want it. Get to gears end. of war kind of grenade style yeah basically throw meter yeah, yeah uh, and that's all, all all you'll see and, and it's as easy as that i mean you see it in, in the game you see where the targets end up and it'll appear in the level i'm just uh building the level now i've added all the little tools I it went. does actually say portal portal ability yes that's, portalable <laughs> so, it is, so it is right so that is a real word yes yeah, so I, I wasn't making it up it's true <laughs> yeah no, you've been saying that all day i thought you were <laughs> um, so what, and what's happening now is it's building it's the level. building it's taking, it doesn't usually take this long um, admittedly it's not making a very very entertaining video no I mean uh, you'd like to think that you'd speed this up in the editing process but we're talking about it now yeah. so <laughs> we have to well, I, think, I think the point is because I hadn't rebuilt it since I'd created a brand new level it's trying to do everything at once so it's taking it's time it usually takes no more than 30 seconds right well it's good for people to know in real time how long it's going to take yeah and that's, that, that was a, now, an extended so. version it's just loading the, loading the level now so it's getting all the assets um, don't know why it's taking so long. <laughs> Is it because of our, the state of our uh, horrible, treat, <laughs> mistreated PC in the office? Or? It, it may need a little bit of uh, love and care, I think, that PC. Um, but uh, so this is running off all the assets that are already included with Port 2, isn't it? Yeah. Or maybe even just kind of missing some, like we said, about the foliage Well, it's kind missing of that kind of thing. Stuff. I don't think those assets aren't in there. I think it's just you can't access them. Yeah, maybe that, maybe it's something they can uh, update in the future. Maybe, or maybe someone will hack it. I'm sure someone... someone Lovely, will. I'm sure Valve... So here we go. Love. I've realised that uh, I've set the exit in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you think that was the beginning? I thought that have was the gone entrance. Through, have you gone through the... Oh, no, that's just a... a a gate, isn't it? Um, yeah, that basically yeah, dissolves any cube. That's right, yeah. And um, because of my level design, I can't get past <laughs> the turret. And I'm going to die oh, now. Oh, you're dead. Brilliant.